Hi, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. This is a podcast brought to you by SMS Law, going through the legal secrets that will benefit you and your clients, as well as having a little bit of fun as we go. This podcast is designed to educate you on, number one, complicated legal terms that we will explain in an easy to understand manner, two, to understand why you do things from a legal perspective in your business, and three, to help you develop a plan for the future success of your business. Our mission is to help empower small to medium sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Did you know that any business owner is on average seven months away from losing everything? That is the average time that it takes from a successful business to fold when an aspect of their business is not set up correctly. This podcast is all about empowering you and your business with knowledge and tools to ensure that that doesn't happen to you or to your clients. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Brisbane Professional Podcast. Uh, my name is Craig Mason. I have with me uh, the wonderful Jeremy Stratton. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Craig. Thank you for welcoming me in such a wonderful fashion. You are wonderful, too. That's all right. It's a wonderful day. Uh, and the topic, insurance. Personal, that is. Uh, so we're talking about policies, um, or personal insurance policy, so not your not your vehicle, uh, not your your business type insurance, but personal um, to you. So, what does that involve, Jeremy? What is personal insurance? Yep. So um, you've given a great definition of what it's not. So I'll say what it is, and what it is is it's generally insurance that's um, based on your death or your disability. That could be total and permanent disability or could just be disability in general. So there's all different types of insurance uh, out there. And, you know, no doubt to our, um, our listeners who are uh, in that game uh, would know more of the details than we, we would. But the general uh, crux of it is that personal insurance is about insuring yourself uh, um, if something happened to you, if you passed away or if you got injured. Uh, and uh, making sure that your family is covered for the loss that they'd suffer if that happened to you. And also, if you are surviving and you're injured, that you're also um, able to be continue your life the way that you wanted it to be without uh, you know, massive government handouts and all the rest of it. So that's what um, personal insurance is all about. Craig, do you want to talk about the benefits of having it? Yeah. Um, so obviously, if you pass away, then... There's no benefit for you anymore, but there's a benefit for your for your family. So you pass away and you've got an insurance policy, it pays out, it goes to your family. They now can fund, um, you know, their life if they need to. Uh, it's particularly important, for instance, if you have a if you have a property and you've got a mortgage on there, uh, then the insurance will pay out. You know, depending on how much you've got insurance, and that's something that we'll touch on a bit later about what you should consider, but. Uh, we'll pay out that uh, mortgage and then, uh, you know, you've got an unencumbered property there for your spouse to then live in with your, uh, with your children, for instance, uh, and they can continue on. Uh, if it's a, a permanent uh, disability, then it's the obvious benefit is that there's now money to help care for you um, for what it is you've suffered. Um, your family now doesn't need to... Yeah, take on two jobs and rely on the the government. They can have other funding uh, through the policy to to care for your ongoing care for the rest of your your life. So the benefits are are, are those in the sense that it benefits your family and benefits yourself if uh, it's a disability. Uh, I think that's probably the main main benefits. Really, there are other um, cost things, I guess, depending on how the insurance is structured as to who's paying for it, but. Uh, they're the benefits. So what do you need to do? What do you need to consider, Jeremy, before you uh, go ahead and get your insurance? Mm, it um, it's really comes back to what are you trying to achieve and what do you want out of life? And it's that old Stephen Covey saying, uh, start, start with the end in mind, or as I like to term it, start up with an end in mind, have an idea about where you're going, uh, because that re- will really dictate what you need to do. So have a think about what it is that you want to achieve. You know, if you have a house and you have a debt, yeah, do you just want to cover that debt with your insurance in case you pass away, uh, as Craig said, uh, to, so that your family doesn't have a mortgage if, if you pass away? Uh, or is there something else? And really, 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 really need to talk to a financial planner about all these um, ideas. Uh, there's lots of great financial planners out there who, who do this work on a regular basis, and they go through all of the criteria. So uh, I'd recommend, you know, don't try and do it yourself. Make sure you go and talk to a financial planner uh, to really 
go through everything that you need to do um, before applying for it uh, so that you can make sure that you're covered and, and you're covered for the amount that you need uh, going forward. Craig, what about um, how should people get started? I've kind of said that about the financial planner, but you know, where do lawyers get involved? Where does legal advice come into these things? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, there might be some exemptions to the policy. For instance, you might want some legal advice about, uh, you know, the terms of the uh, insurance policy, uh, some of those a little bit um, different or you don't understand, you may you may need to uh, get legal advice there. And depending on your other structures and how everything's put together, there might be some legal advice that needs to be given about that to make sure it all fits in. And as Jeremy said, what is it that you're trying to achieve with all of this? There might be some other things that you need to match up and get legal advice with that. So, you know, they should be working with your financial planner, for instance, um, about what how it's going to be structured and what it is that you're you're after. Um, but as you said, Jeremy, probably the place to start is with a financial planner that does uh, personal insurances and uh, have a chat to them about uh, what you need. You know, there is a cost, obviously, that you need to pay for the insurance premium. So I uh, need to work that out as well as to the more you pay, the higher the, the cover. Uh, so work all that stuff out with your financial planner. Excellent. That's it. We're done. Friday afternoon. What time's our uh, first drink? Huh? Uh, Does it have to wait till Friday afternoon? No. This happens to be Friday afternoon while we're recording this. But, uh, Very true. Very true. Doesn't have to be. Anyway, we digress. Uh, that's it for us uh, for today's show. Thank you for joining us. Please uh, rate and review the podcast uh, on uh, whatever platform it is that you're uh, downloading it. Uh, jump on the SMS Law Facebook page and like it. Uh, and then you'll um, be involved there and get other information. Uh, follow us on Twitter. And uh, what's the other one? Connect. Search for us on LinkedIn. Connect on uh, that platform. So welcome all new uh, comers. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're it. Done. See you next time.